and it looks like Taylor Swift's latest relationship is over. TMZ says Taylor and Maddie Healy are done after very briefly dating. According to a quote friend close to the situation, Taylor has shaken off <laughs> this latest relationship and is single again. It's unclear why they broke up, but Maddie was recently spotted kissing a male security guard while on stage with his band in Denmark. This was never going to be a long term thing. Taylor knows her brand. This wasn't going to be a thing, right? This was a rebound. I'm having fun thing. Is that allowed? But, but then don't do like kind of relationship things. Like I what? Think, what did she do that was remotely I, relationship? I think if you're having a fling, guy. I don't think you should be in public holding hands. I think it's a. What? I think it's bad for both of you guys. You got to get a separation. There needs to be. There needs to be what? a separation. You sound like an old man. No, and here's why. <laughs> because you don't want to. If you guys are having an adult relationship that is obviously consensual, but also like it, this is a path towards marriage. This is a fun summer thing. Whatever. Do whatever you want, but don't do pathway to relationship stuff and also fling stuff because it's gonna intermingle and people are gonna. Well, catch so you're feelings. saying if you're casually dating someone or you've just met someone you shouldn't be out in public holding their hand absolutely unless you're gonna get what? married I am absolutely to them. Saying that. Ow, really? Ow, come on because that that holding hands means commitment it's not just holding their hands you're, you're not holding it, a mobile phone it, it like, represents what are you talking about? something you're telling me holding hands doesn't it means something i i can understand what you're saying man, mainly because taylor swift is so <laughs> intentional oh, right 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 and strategic about well, and like, for good certainly. reason because of <laughs> Because people say things like, like that. <laughs> It's not people. It's no. like in general. Like you don't no. take your fling to your parents' house. Well, no, That's and not, I, she I didn't agree with do that. that. She walked down the street with the guy. Don't don't touch your hands. Oh. And, and, but like Erica said, <laughs> she is very intentional. Yeah. She's a very aware of the paparazzi and the people around her. She's very carefully navigated many of these situations. And it wouldn't surprise me, as Tori said, she's broken up with someone. She needs a little filler. That's right. And let me say what this is. It's a palate cleanser because we, she wanted to get people mm -hmm. away from Joe Alwyn. This couldn't be more different. This exactly. guy. He's a bad boy, English punk. I don't love the dude. I think he's made some weird, sketchy statements. So as a Swifty, goodbye. Mm. <laughs> See ya. Bye, bye, bye. Okay. Um, there are reports that Natalie Portman is fighting to save her marriage after her husband, oh, I hate this, reportedly cheated on her with a much younger woman. Why did I have to say that last part, too? <laughs> Natalie and her French husband have been married since 2012 after meeting on the set of the movie Black Swan. He was the choreographer. But a recent article in a French magazine says he had an affair with a 25-year-old climate activist. Natalie was seen smiling at a soccer game in Paris over the weekend and has not spoken publicly about the alleged affair. But there are reports she and her husband are still together. Mm -hmm. Now, the alleged mistress is environmentalist Camille Etienne, who is 20 years younger than Natalie's husband. Quel dommage, mon dieu. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I you know, I, I listened to uh, the, the sex uh, expert and podcaster Dan Savage, and he said, Love him. if he's great, and, and he's, you know, he said, if you go and you're a monogamous relationship for your entire life, 50, 60 years, if you have two or three slip ups, mm -hmm. you were kind of good at monogamy. And I never thought about it like that. I, you know, and I think it's usually considered a deal breaker. I still don't know how I would react, but I, I, I can't say this, Erica Stefan Tori. If, if I was cheated on, I would also look at my behavior because I think sometimes I could see how if I had done something, maybe not cheated, but also been, been emotionally distant, sometimes you can cause people to make a mistake as well. I, th I, I would, I would uh, say, open. I, would, I, would, I don't say, know. Open. You, can't, you can't play. That's I'm open. I'm talking go about myself. Down. Well, are you right? upset me so I fell yeah. into bed with someone else? It's not yeah. Yeah. But That's you can, open. Maybe he was emotionally you neglected. Being, right. Yes. Right. When you physically and emotionally right. neglect somebody, you can make them, because they are human beings, you don't, seek that somewhere else. You okay. Make you don't them. make anyone do anything. Mm -hmm. We are very much um, able mm -hmm. to make our own choices. Absolutely. I understand what you're saying, though, which is why I'm going to say something a little different, but not 100% polar opposite. Okay. Because when we hear these stories, and this is coming from Erica Cobb, the scholar of reality television. Uh, here, here. Uh, yeah, so you get these stories that break about infidelity. And Natalie Portman in this is not the person who made the decision to step outside of her marriage 
allegedly, but she's now a victim in this right. equation. And also mm -hmm. it adds to the idea of will they be able to reconcile or will they be able to fight for their family when there's this whole court of public opinion that's happening. And what you see in a lot of these situations is it may have been something that the two of them understood that they weren't mm -hmm. in the best place. Sure. They, it mm -hmm. may not have been necessarily a shock on other side that this happened. But when you can't just move through that as a family privately and you have all these other factors coming into your relationship, then sometimes that can make it harder for reconciliation. Yeah, it's like another partner. And that's all that I'm saying. I'm that, not going to say that she neglected no, him I'm emotionally not, and then he just her. slipped I'm, I'm saying I would evaluate into the my, environment. I I, I, I'm not saying her. I'm saying I would take some ownership and be like, well, where did we go with this? I, I understand when you're in a relationship with a human being and human beings have certain needs, and when you decide to have those needs with only one person for the rest of your life, if one person decides to stop being physically intimate with you, stop being emotionally intimate with you, well, you're in kind of a pickle now. Yeah. So you can either, and it's, it's a privilege to be able to leave a relationship. Some people are tied in with kids, with economics. Sometimes you got to do what you have to do to make it. Well, one and thing, if that involves stepping out, I, I can see that and I, well, I can see that existing. Well, one thing that we are all forgetting, and I'm not saying it's solely because it's French, but there in the culture it is a I lot that. it is a lot different I have met I many of a mistress or I've even been introduced to someone as a concubine the other day and I couldn't believe it Whoa. openly I was like oh, <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah. we're here now and it's kind of like an unspoken thing you don't mess with my business I don't bring it home you do your thing so I'm not saying that's their relationship but in France, it is a big thing. Interesting, interesting. Let us know what you think. I, all in all, I just feel bad for Natalie. Right. We know each other. Click, close. <laughs> Nat, call me. In keeping with our theme, <laughs> if your coworker though was having an affair, and I want you guys to answer this on our chat or tweet us, would you tell their significant other? So a person asked Dear Abby this question. She said, should she rat on her coworker who's having an affair on his girlfriend with another coworker? <clears throat> Dear Abby told the woman, stay out of it. Responses? Would anyone say anything? I would not say anything, but if the affair was happening at work, like visually, I, I would say something. If it, yeah, if it were at the work, person. then that would that's a different thing for me because now there's a power dynamic that also affects me. This doesn't affect me. I feel you. So I, I don't think that it's ever a good idea because you don't know what the situation is. You don't have any clue of what the fallout might be. And now all of a sudden you wrapped up in somebody else's oh, crap man. that you don't need to be a part of. Mm -hmm. So I would just like step back and be like, okay, when the fallout happens, well, we knew. <laughs> we knew. What about you, Steph? I would, I would definitely stay out of it. Absolutely. I think there's no need to be involved. I understand what Erica's saying because let's say one of us was with someone else. It would affect, it affects everything. It affects the network. It affects the show. Yeah. It affects people who sponsor us if ever those things ever came out. You know, it's a big deal. Someone in England just lost their job over this literally the other day. We look at, obviously, the morning, um, this morning show, TJ, look what's happened there mm -hmm. with the affairs and things. Amy. It's, that's, that is serious, but I would confront the person just them. I wouldn't be talking to their partner or whatever. That's none of my business. What if it's like someone, if you're a really good friend at work, would you say at least, hey, you either tell the girlfriend no. or eventually you just stay out of it? You why, know would I mean? you, why would you put them, why would you, who, who are you to tell them what they should or shouldn't do? You know, you can say, hey, I don't like it if, if you're affecting people, but yeah, you, you can't say to someone, you do this or I'm going to tell them. If on they're you. stepping out on my good, good friend, I mm. guess that's a different. You know, it's different. You know I mean? It's like, because it's, it's emotional. You're being rational and you're being emotional, but that that's kind of the two things. You're at work being rational, but your your friend is here, yeah. and I'm emotional towards you guys. So and it, I'm a human. Yeah. It, it, yeah. it does kind of mix in. So yeah. it's it's hard to be a robot and be like, that's at work. I can't. If if I knew somebody was gonna hurt Erica, I right. just can't just drive home. Like let's right. go get some. I would think about it all day. Yeah, but our relationship is different too. I mean, like honestly, there are most people are coworkers and they're just coworkers. That's true. But like. We've Perfect. been together like every day for the past six years. So I think that we have a different type of decorum to like have those conversations. There That's has to be point. a trust there. Yeah. But I think at the end of the day, you're also looking at much like with the Natalie Portman situation, like 
some people are going to do things because they're, it's in their best interest and comfort to live and survive. And so by you bringing it out, it's just embarrassing them yes. in something that they're stuck in in the moment. Yeah, right. And they might not be able to get out. And maybe so. it's a conversation they haven't had with themselves. Like, they, if, if you notice it, they probably notice mm -hmm. it, but they haven't been able to acknowledge it yet and you doing it might kind of make them do it before they're ready so I think that's where that anger would come from. It's tricky. Now talking about tricky we have more details about the Kim Cattrall's highly anticipated return to the Sex and the City franchise. As we mentioned Kim is reprising her role as Samantha Jones in the second season of the reboot out later this month but just in one scene and it's on a phone call. I can't wait. <laughs> I mean, How is there exciting. any other boring technology we can bring into this? <laughs> Let's fax A her Zoom in. with one person's camera <laughs> off? Stop Evan this. Handler, who plays Charlotte's husband, Harry, told People Magazine he thinks it's great she's coming back, but said she shot her cameo in a garage or something away from everyone and said the only uh, way he will welcome her is into his living room is when it airs on TV. Is he being catty? <laughs> Not a garage. Yeah. I I mean, could, he get, could he have mentioned stage? a sound booth or yeah, something? something. <laughs> <laughs> a garage seems to be a little bit of a dig, no? I, yeah, I also think that, look, I, I know that relationships and workplace things fracture, but did something this bad happen where she needs to be in a nuclear silo to do she her She does scene? not want to be on that set. Yeah, I, you're yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, but then right. don't take that check then. I just, it, what? I, I don't like I don't I think she's kind of one it both ways I, I would actually respect her a lot more if she was just like I don't want anything to do with you guys but it's like I, I get it get it on your terms but it just like it's gonna take away from the storyline I think they should have written her out a long time ago because now this is gonna be super weird and awkward over emails and texts and other I ways to not well, see her on camera. We've already seen that though because last season she wasn't a part of it but they were definitely making it seem as though she was sending the text. She was sending yeah. yeah. text at the missed That's call right. but this is personal again it's like it's very different this is a franchise that has been a part of pop culture for decades mm -hmm. that means that the people who are involved are more than just colleagues this is a labor of love that meant something to all of them so by her not wanting to be a part of this it's personal to all of them exactly. she's basically waged war mm. on the entire cast by saying what y'all are doing over here means nothing to me That's so true. and there's a split there is a split and, 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 and it's not wrong to call that out I think Sarah Jessica, Jessica Parker being a producer in all of this really it had to have compromised they really wanted her back they didn't probably want her on set a phone call is a compromised way of doing it and it seems like that's the best way that's going listen to what they said about um, her the money that she's getting paid Candace Bushnell who wrote the book said Kim likely got paid quote handsomely because Kim is a grown woman who does things on her own terms she's got all the leverage she sure does Samantha Jones it's gonna have been hefty it's gonna have been hefty I completely agree with you. I think it was money 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 money